Hey Cover Kids, I have a, another fun activity you all can do today if you are bored or maybe you need a little bit of a brain break from some of the school that you've been doing. Um, yeah, so Chelsea and I really like going outdoors, so that's one of our favorite things like going for walks, hiking, camping, that kind of stuff. Um, and I know it's really nice to get outside right now so you're not always um, in your house. But some days like today, it's not exactly the nicest weather. I mean, it's not terrible out today. You know, at least it's not snowing. But um, it's not the greatest weather to go outside today. So something that I've found that I like to do whenever I, it's not the greatest weather to go outside is to use Google Earth to kind of like explore different areas around the world. And one thing Chelsea and I also really like is the national parks. So I thought I'd show you guys today something on Google Earth where you can explore all of our country's national parks from the comfort of your living room. So I'll show you the, I'm gonna grab the phone, I'll show you all the instructions using my computer how to do it. So let me flip the camera. Okay, just in case you don't know. Um, so you can do Google, sorry, it's hard to type and Look at, make sure I'm like videotaping right at the same time. Okay, Google Earth. And then you pull that up. It'll ask you to launch Earth. And it'll load a little bit. And, sorry. And let's see. There we go. Okay, so you should see something like this. If you go to the side, you can go to that little uh, wheel looking thing and hit Voyager. And then it gives you all types of suggested fun activities you can do. And um, the one that we're looking for is the national parks. So if you go to nature, it is the very first one that pops up, national parks of the United States. And then it'll zoom out to show you the whole country and all of the national parks of the United States are lit up. And so you can click on them, and it'll t show you pictures of the different parks. It'll tell you fun facts about the different parks. And it's a good way to kind of, like, explore the outside without actually uh, going outside. And so I thought along with this activity, I thought I would challenge you guys to find five things about the national parks. So my challenge for you all is to f find a national park that has a waterfall, Find a national park that has a cool rock formation, like some unique looking rock. Uh, a national park that's on an island, a national park that's in Indiana, and a national park that is east of the Mississippi River. And I'll post those in the comments too. So your challenge is to see if you can find a different national park for each of those five things. And then also in the comments, if you stumble upon a national park that you thought looked really cool or one you'd like to visit, feel free to put that in the comments. Because like I said, Chelsea and I love the national parks, so we love, we'd love to hear from you guys about what you find out with those five things or just one that you think looks super cool. And one cool thing about looking at the national parks is really seeing um, God's creation in like its purest form in terms of like humanity didn't do anything to like make a lot of these remarkable things you see in a national park. So it's cool to see God's like creative handiwork again in his creation through um, forests and mountains and all that kind of stuff. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments, what you find out, and I'll see you later, Calvary Kids.